Hi, welcome to this tutorial on upgrading CentOS 6.5 to CentOS 7. This is an updated method from my website. I have updated the info on my website as much as possible. Please note that all the ma all major upgrades can cause data loss, so things can go wrong. And before you start, back up your server and all your data on it. So if it all goes wrong, you can revert to your backup. Also, do not use this method to upgrade CentOS 6.7 or higher. This is because there are system critical packages on a higher version in those ones. Um, and they don't get upgraded correctly. And this is causing a lot of problems on many servers at the moment. So if you are on CentOS 6.7, or higher, you will have to do a clean install to get sent OS 7. I did encourage you to do a, an update on the original article, but don't do this now. This will break the upgrade uh, because it will upgrade it to sent OS 6.8. So to check what version you're on, we use the cat command and I'll be cut and pasting into my terminal. So we use cat forward slash etc forward slash red hat dash release and that will give us our release and we're on 6.5 final so we can go ahead. Um, you'll be able to see how the update affects the server in this panel here as this is my server and I will be cut and pasting all my commands um, there, there is a list of commands on my website. I'll give a link in the description below. Originally, I had problems with the upgrade with the Apache server, MySQL and PHP. They didn't start after the upgrade. I don't know if that's been fixed. I haven't done it on this server. This hasn't got it installed. You might want to remove those first or just check what the upgrade tool will give back as feedback. But as we haven't got it, I won't use that. So now we have to make the upgrade tool repo. Um, I use nano, you can use vi. Copy the command and it will have, want to be um, in the file forward slash etc forward slash yum dot repos dot d forward slash upgrade tool dot repo. So we open that up and in that we want to put this command I'll leave that on the screen for a bit but the I'll link the description of as I said to my website with full, with all these commands so then we control 0 to save it control x to exit the editor if you've done this before you might have open scap already installed so you might want to run that there is a problem with open scap i'll give you a link in the description below to the forum that was discussing this it breaks basically um the upgrade tool if um, you have a certain version uh, we have to install a new different version uh, for it to work so just paste that in and see and it's not there. So as I said the OpenSCAP version that we need is OpenSCAP uh, 1.0.8 so this is the command so copy that paste it in and enter and that should install the open scan to say yes now we're good to go so we need to now install the upgrade tool which is which is these two which is red hat upgrade tool and pre upgrade assistant contents so press enter and yes to install We 
just have to wait for it to install all our packages. Once that's done, we can now verify the upgrade. Uh, Pre-UPG won't install anything, but it will just check through your whole system, see if there's any problems, and report back on what problems there are. In the terminal, we write pre-UPG, press enter, and it says hit here. Uh, it doesn't do the actual upgrade, uh, but it does say that make sure you've backed up your system and the dent and your data. So if you haven't, do it now, and then come back to this stage. So I have, so if I say yes, and it will now run through the assistant, finding any changes, and it will also find any problems if there are. And there we go, we finished. It does give us a little list of information where it's passed the tests or it's not applicable, um, and all this down here. Uh, these are passed, there's information on these bits, uh, there's information on these bits, and there's inspection on these elements here, and there's inspection on these sections, which is configuration files to review, and file lists for manual migration, obsoleted RPMs, and packages not signed by sent OS. So I do encourage you to read that. Um, you can do that by this command here, but we're not going to do that here. So you can have a look. It does have a result in root pre-upgrade result HTML. So now we just start the upgrade after that, after we've done all that. We have to enter this command, which gives us the new mirror that we want to install. And then this command here will do the upgrade. Press enter. Download all the packages that we need. At the end of this, we'll have to reboot the server and you will see it in um, this screen here how the upgrade goes. And then we'll see if we can log back in. Now that we downloaded all the packages we need for our upgrade, we just reboot the server. If you've got access to a console, you can watch the server reboot and see for any problems. So you'll be able to see what goes on in this console here as I've got it set up. So we reboot. This will take some time. So the um, best thing to do is grab a coffee and um, wait for it to do and once it's done we can see if we can log back in. Now that is done as you can see in the console here it says sent OS Linux 7 core so we'll try and log back in. And we're in. So that's good. We can double check. The release number. And there we are. It's sent OS Linux release 7.2. So that's done really. And all that's left to do is to look for your post upgrade problems and the first thing you should do is a yum update um, to install any new updates And that's it, um, the upgrade is done. As you can see, it was fairly straightforward and smooth sailing. 
If you have any problems, please comment below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Or you can go onto my website, uh, links in the description below, and you'll be able to um, leave comments there or email me. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.